So, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Moshe Fischer. Uh, I am a professor, in fact, emeritus, retired the last year uh, from Tel Aviv University in Israel. Uh, my main field is uh, classical archaeology. I used to teach uh, beginning with the early 70s uh, up to the last year different uh, fields of classical archaeology, uh, mainly uh, dealing with the Greco-Roman impact in the Mediterranean and uh, foremost in the Near East, the meeting between uh, Oriental societies, the old empires, the Egyptian, the Assyrian, the Babylonian, the Hittite, and the new uh, powers in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, mainly the Greek world after Alexander the Great and the impact they had on the local civilizations along uh, the history, uh, mainly throughout the late antiquity up to the early uh, Middle Ages. Uh, during the last years, I also organized and conducted several archaeological excavations, uh, mainly in Israel, uh, and among others uh, in the northern part of Israel, uh, close to the Lebanese border, a Roman temple in uh, the famous city Kadassa Ton Tirion, Kedesh of the people of Tyre, a Phoenician uh, environment with strong uh, Greek, Roman, Jewish, and other influences. So it's a wonderful place of dealing with interaction uh, between different ethnic and religious groups. It was a good school for me and for my students to deal uh, with this uh, subject. Uh, all these uh, projects and others uh, were a part of uh, my teaching and uh, research program during the, uh, these years. And uh, I would say that uh, this experience uh, I brought with me uh, to Venice as well. Uh, I am, um, uh, was actually uh, fascinated with the idea to teach uh, in what is called officially an international university, a Venice International University. That was the main idea uh, for me and the main importance, uh, not only the fact that Tel Aviv University is also involved in this uh, joint program, this joint university, but really the fact that uh, it's an uh, international university. And this is uh, even beyond the, the fact that in the last years I was teaching in Germany, in New Zealand, in China, in the United States a lot of times, and uh, I had uh, students from different countries, but it officially it was not this uh, meeting of, the, of uh, students uh, carrying out a certain program and in this case, the problem of globalization, of meeting between different cultures, both in modern world, in ancient world, is really matching my research, my ideas, my interest in archaeology and uh, history. So therefore, I also propose to present uh, here, uh, two, or to give two classes, one about uh, interactions and uh, mainly cultural interactions, using archaeology as the background for cultural history and in fact uh, as part of the trend of the last years of so-called new archaeology or uh, social archaeology of which I am a real partisan, a real adept of, of it. I like it, I like this approach and this approach I also bring it in my class. The second one is uh, course a very interesting one and very uh, important for uh, also understanding modern life, uh, the daily life in, uh, under the Athenian democracy. So both classes uh, are intended to present cultural history based on archaeology and uh, mainly, mainly uh, using this international meeting of students from different countries in order to see uh, their reactions, to get their reaction, to discuss different aspects of uh, fields I'm dealing with them uh, under their aspect and with their experience, even if they're young people or some are very young,
but they have their own uh, local national experience coming uh, to, uh, to Venice. Uh, that uh, the idea to come to Venice, not only for the Venice International University, but to the city of Venice, was really fascinating. And I, I got a wonderful, uh, wonderful feedback and a wonderful background from the first week uh, when uh, visiting the, the exhibition of the 500 years of the ghetto in, in Venice. Uh, speaking about uh, the cosmopolitan city and the Jewish community as part of other national communities living in Venice with the problems uh, they had to face and with the solutions which were given to them uh, during the history.